Hi, welcome to Out of the Rough. I'm Fred Arnold, and in this show, we will highlight opportunities and solutions to help get you out of the rough and into success, both financially and personally. In these tough economic times, I want to bring to you practical solutions on many of today's challenges. And today, we have our guest, Michael Crane. Uh, welcome back to the show. Thank you. Michael Crane is president and co-founder of Smart Business Evolution, mm -hmm. a frequent guest on the show because I think it's really critical we talk about issues to help businesses, help people grow in life. Um, and today we're going to talk about creating great culture, a, a great culture of customer service in your business. Right. Well, you know, great customer service starts with leadership. You know, it's not about telling employees what to do or how to be nice to customers. I mean, granted, we need to teach them, coach them, train them on that. But really, fundamentally, it starts with the leader. When you have great customer service, look for the leader. If you have bad customer service, look, look at the, the leader. leader. Yeah, the buck stops, stops with the leader. Right. Whether it's the president of the United States, whether it's the president of your organization, or whether it's the president of your household. Right, right. It's, uh, the buck has to stop with you in that leadership. You have a system called BUILD, right. B-U-I-L-D, and they each stand for something different. Right. Well, it's just an easy way to teach. You know, there's more than BUILD as it relates to teaching people how to create a culture of great customer service, but it's the staple. It's the foundation. And so it makes it really easy to teach and to understand and making sure that you go out and live it. So B stands for Be Brilliant at the Basics. What we discovered many years ago when we did a study, we, you know, as I have shared with you once before, is we did a study where we had mystery shop cameras button cameras and we re went out and recorded different customer interactions from airlines to hotels rental cars and so on and so forth but we came back with this data and took a look and separated extraordinary companies from those who at best could be defined as ordinary and what we found about the extraordinary companies is that it wasn't about them doing something extreme or extravagant big, big or bold mm -hmm. it was about them being very consistent at delivering the basics of good customer service yeah so that so the first thing is don't try to do too much I mean if you want to do something big or bold fantastic but first and fundamentally make sure that your staff is brilliant at the basics of good customer service. Yes, and the, the basics is of executing your job, whether it's a greeting, whether it's a transaction, whether it's a, mm -hmm. a cashier ringing somebody up and getting it right. How often, and, and I've, I've heard this many a times, if, if, you, if, you, if, you, if you practice less than you play, that when you play, it, it'll be obvious that you didn't practice. Absolutely. And the same thing with business. Well, it is, and that kind of ties into this next point, and that is have unaltered vision. And so allow me to combine be brilliant at the basics with you and build, and that st stands for unaltered vision. Leadership has to have unaltered vision when it comes to customer service. Other things may uh, deserve attention. You know, you need to deal with marketing and acquisitions and mergers and compensation plans. All those deserve attention, but nothing should be more important to you than your customer service. And too often, as an executive grows their business or an entrepreneur grows their business, in fact, here's a thought, the bigger your business gets, the further away you grow from customer service. And that's so true because your office gets further and further away from the customer. Well, yes, well, the yeah. bigger the business gets. Right, well, in the beginning, you're everything, right, Fred? Right. You're the owner, the operator, you're the agent, you're the receptionist, and you deliver everything, including that you deliver great customer service. After all, you're face-to-face. -face. But as your business grows, you will start to shift the daily interactions with your customer into the hands of those you've hired. And they may be good people with good intent, but they're not going to be as passionate as you are at delivering great customer service, and they're not going to be as passionate at creating fans of your business. So you have to make sure that you as the leader keep your eye on customer service. Pay attention to other matters too, but nothing should be more important than the current uh, service your customers are receiving. Nothing compromises it. So we got be brilliant at the basics, yep. unaltered vision, Let's talk about R&R, and &R. we're not talking about rest and relaxation when it comes to building this culture in your business. Right, well, so the I in build uh, is, stands for include R&R. &R. No, it doesn't stand for rest and relaxation. We all know in today's marketplace you don't have time for that, not, not at work anyways. What we're talking about is respect and recognition making sure that your staff feels that you respect them. Now, I'm not talking about a session of kumbaya and everybody has to hear good news. I mean, you can still hold them to high expectations, but you need to make sure that you're driving into your culture from leadership down, that we recognize people who do a great job, right? We let them know, hey, fantastic job with that last customer. Because if you want your staff to respect and really appreciate the customer, they have to first feel that you respect, respect. them. Respect. Yeah. I love that, and I want to interject something and get your thoughts on it. I think you also have to know what drives your, uh, your not your customer, but your employee. What makes them excited? 
for a younger uh, uh, teenager and they're a cashier, yeah. maybe getting a couple gift cards to their favorite to their favorite restaurant, right. not yours, yeah. is what they want. Maybe recognition in front of everybody else is what they want. And I think you have to go deeper with employees to find out what they want. You know, and it doesn't take that much time. You know, a lot of times when I start introducing this concept to leaders, they start getting a little paranoid because they don't think they have time to learn everything about their staff. But it doesn't take much time. Just spend a few minutes, ask a few questions, and you'll find what pushes their button. You'll find what they really want. And you're absolutely right. Some people love recognition. Put them up on a stage, you know, mm -hmm. praise them and do all that. Other people, that's the last place they want to be. They want you to go in quietly, give them a gift certificate or some money and say, hey, great job. But but you're right. Thank them in a personal way. Just as you want personal touch for your customer, right. you need to make sure that you touch your employees personally as well. And that helps, that helps create that culture. Yep. Let's talk about uh, B-U-I-L. L, right. Look at your measurements. The common blunder in most organizations are when I see a company that's struggling, the first place I go is take a look at what they're measuring. And normally they're measuring the wrong data. Two things. They're either measuring the wrong data are they not contrasting that data? Let me give an example. Um, I may be looking at my measurements, right? What's going in internally, but I want to contrast what's going on in my company to other like companies, and I even want to contrast these results to any company that has a reputation that I don't currently have. Mm -hmm. Uh, you'll, right. fi you'll find right. great opportunities to improve when you do that. You know, you say always dare to compare. Right. Very similar to that. Compare yourself to your competition and compare yourself to those doing it right and those that maybe aren't doing it as great to figure out where you can get better. Well, absolutely. You know, it's, a, it's, a, it's sad to me when I walk into a place of business. For example, I was there yesterday. I go into the restaurant. It's brand new. I walk in, and it's flat. I mean, the decor is fairly flat, the service is fairly flat, but here's what I know. You've got an owner who's put a lot of time and money into that place, and I don't think it's going to make it. If they would take the time to drive down the street to their local competitors, mm -hmm. they would realize, oh, here's five things I need to do differently, and then they could resurrect hope for their business. Otherwise, what's going to happen in about a year later, you'll just see a sign on the front. Yeah. Dare to compare. Um, a, a look at measurements and dare to compare. Right. Um, we just have one minute. Um, don't forget the... Why is more important than the what? Yep. Simply said this, is we can't just go out and tell our employees what to do. We have to make sure that we share with them why. It's important for them to understand the reasons behind your expectations. And some business owners, they say, hey, that's what they get paid to do. And while I won't disagree, it simply doesn't work. If you want to build a culture of great customer service, make sure you share with your staff the reason why you have the expectations you do. It's the why. Right. Why are we here? Why are we serving the customer? Why is the customer coming to us? Why, why, why? Absolutely. Yeah, I love it. I love it. Uh, thank you very much. And. Uh, uh, those watching, uh, and you're going to stick around for the next guest, sure. but just, just uh, those watching, how they can reach you. Well, easy. For me personally, just send me an email, michael at smartbusinessevolution.com. To find out more about what we do and how we can help an organization, go to our website, www.smartbusinessevolution.com. Last thing is our telephone toll-free, 877-398-7547. Love it. Five elements of creating great, great uh, Culture of customer service. Very good, very good. We're going to jump to a quick break, but when we got uh, come back, we got Tamara Gurney, president and CEO of Mission Valley Bank, and she's going to give us opportunities that small businesses have to thrive in these challenging markets.